YouTube channel. In this video, we will be discussing about permeability of soil. How we can determine the permeability of soil in laboratory. Basically, permeability refers to the ease with which water can water or any fluid can move through a porous media or soil. Permeability in laboratory can be determined through two methods known as constant head permeability test and falling head permeability test. Falling head permeability test is also known as variable head permeability test. Because in this test, the head of uh, or column of water above the soil changes rapidly or falls. Therefore, it is also known as variable head permeability test. And constant head permeability test is suitable for coarse grain soil as they have large voids and if we don't maintain a constant head or we don't maintain a constant discharge above the soil sample, then this head will fall rapidly and there will be no water left above the soil to measure the permeability of soil, especially in case of very coarse soil uh, gravels, the no water will be uh, retained because they have high permeability. On the other hand, for fine grain soil, we perform the falling head permeability test as they have a very small voids. Uh, the space between the particles is very small and these soils have fine grain soils have water holding capacity. So we perform a falling head test or by using this type of arrangement, we <laughs> place the sample and in the stand pipe, we measure the fall in the head of water or liquid used for, for which permeability has to be determined. So in this falling head permeability test, we have a mold in which the soil sample is to be placed. If the soil sample is undisturbed soil sample, we will trim it to the size of the mold and place in it. On the other hand, if we have undisturbed soil sample, then if we have disturbed soil sample, then we can easily know the volume of mold from the diameter and height of the mold. And based on the volume, we will try to maintain the density or take the weight of uh, soil in such a way that the density of soil in the mold is nearly equal to the actual density of soil in the field. After placing the soil sample or uh, uh, compacting the soil in this mold, we place the porous disc on the upper and lower side of the mold and place this entire assembly into the test assembly where we can perform the test. Before we perform the falling head permeability test, we have to ensure that the soil is completely saturated because in case of fine soils as already told they have water holding capacity if we don't saturate it then what will happen that within the pores between the between the soil particles water will be held and the water entering from this side or entering from this side will not entirely pass through the soil. Later on, we will discuss why is it necessary uh, to ha have the, all the water out of it. So in, uh, in the testing stage, we keep it in a uh, tub of water and perform the test. Initially, the head is suppose H1 in time T the fall and the fall in head is h2 has reached h2 so the fall in head will be h1 minus h2 l is the length of soil sample a is the capital a is the area of soil sample and small a is the area of a stand pipe now if all the water has fallen from this uh, has come out from this soil sample then it will move to this beaker which we have arranged in the bottom side. So what will happen? The volume of water that has uh, been 
chained here or the fall in head into the area of this stand pipe is the total change in volume here that must be equal to the amount of water collected here that is the amount of water coming out of the soil sample through this pipe and we know this change in volume will be a small a into h1 minus h2 and the discharge from here from Darcy's law it will be Kia where K is the permeability of soil A is the area of the soil sample I is the hydraulic gradient equating these two equations we can get the value of permeability as K is equal to AL by AT log E by H, H1 by H2 if you want to convert this permeability this equation into log base 10 then we have to multiply it by 2.303 and now it has been converted into uh, converted into log 10 log 10 equation so here basically if we look at the experiment we need to observe or in the lab we need to take two readings one reading is for head that is h1 h2 fall in head so we need to have a fall in head h1 and h2 and another reading is the time taken for this fall that is we need to have a stopwatch to check in what time interval this fall in head has taken from taken place from h1 to h2 here we have initial head as h1 and final head is h2 so what is the time duration taken for this fall in head only these two readings that is one is for heads h1 and h2 and another for time duration are required to calculate the permeability of soil sample from falling head test other things are as you can see the area of mold will be constant the area of a specimen that is approximately area equal to the area of a specimen and the length of soil sample that is the length of mold area of stand pipe that is also constant all these values are constant only we need to know h1 h2 and time duration in which this fall in head has taken place so in this way in laboratory we can determine the permeability of soil at that temperature but we know according to indian standards we know to we need to determine or report the permeability of soil at 27 degrees celsius for that we know that the equation is uh, that we multiply permeability and viscosity at particular temperature that is kt ut will be equal to k27 into u27 then you simplify the equation then you have permeability at 27 degrees celsius equal to kt into ut upon u27 where u is the viscosity of water the value of ut and u27 you can get from a standard table and based on that using k value as kt you can determine the permeability of soil at 27 degrees celsius thank you for watching our video please subscribe to the channel link for for falling for constant head permeability test has also been provided in the description and reference book link has also been provided in the description